What's up everybody? I'm Brian from I1 Tesla and today we're going to be testing out track mode in the Plaid Model S. I got it last night. I went and charged this up to 100% and we're going to have some fun today testing out. I'm gonna, well, first I'm going to show you what's involved in it, how different it is from the Model 3. Then we're going to do 0 to 60 runs with drag strip mode versus track mode. Is there any more power? Do you think there's more power? It's still... Come join me. I'm at a supercharger right now, charging the car up to close to 100%. I'm not sure exactly if I'm gonna go to a full 100%, but I'm already at 90, so it shouldn't take, well, that long, like 20 minutes, it says. So in the update here, the only feature, I mean, it shows everything that was in the last feature, but the newest feature is track mode. So in track mode, it is a lot like, is a lot like the Model 3 where you can optimize the dynamics of the car, the thermals, the driving system. It has torque vectoring between all three motors, which is amazing. The suspension system drops it down to the low setting. And I believe with that, you also get a stiffer suspension so you don't lean as much. And it also will display up here, the, the green battery showing all the brakes heating up. But there's some cool features inside this as well. What you do is you go up here to pedals and steering. See what we saw before, chill, sport, and plaid. And then we go down here and we have track mode and you can customize it. So the presets for drift mode, right, that's how you wanna shred your tires, is handling balance to 100% to the rear. So it's just the rear motors. So we wouldn't have full 1,000 horsepower. So doing this zero to 60 launch won't be as good as dividing it up equally. We're gonna put the stability to zero so that way we can spin this thing around and regenerative braking to 100%. You also have post drive cool down, brake temperatures, save dash cam for laps. Uh, if you go to, you can pause these if you wanna see. Not much there, but you can also turn those off. So you, if you don't want the temperature warning, you can turn that off. So you have upgraded brakes, like I'm gonna be working with Mountain Pass Performance. They have some really cool brakes. I'm gonna have some, I'm gonna have a video on that soon. But say you don't, you know you have better brakes and the temperature sensor might read hotter than what it actually is. And uh, you don't want that. So you can turn that off. They also have a race preset. So if you wanted to, the race preset is like track mode version one. So you can just have 50-50, uh, stability to zero, that's what track mode was in the beginning. Or you can do your own settings. You can create your own thing. An I1 setting, create that setting, and now you can play with this a little bit. So maybe we want to, at launch, we're gonna say 60-40. 60, 40. 60 uh, like because most of the weight does go to the rear of the car when you're launching. So let's do a 60-40. 60 40 split let's knock stability down a little bit maybe let the tires spin a little bit more and re regenerative braking at 100 percent, which is fine now i did hear regenerative braking is a lot stronger in track mode so we're going to test that out as well because i've noticed that the plaid model s doesn't have very strong regenerative braking i drove my friend's long range model s that i wrapped that blue one and his had really strong just two motors and it all the regenerative braking comes in from the rear this having two motors i'm surprised it doesn't have a stronger regen so i'm gonna i want to test that out maybe we'll do a test with chris's car and uh regen normal see how the difference is so now i can set up a bunch of different presets here on how i want the car to act whether on the track or driving on the street well not driving on the street. You shouldn't use track mode on the street. So that is pretty much the setup for track mode. You just go up to pedals and steering. That's how you change everything. And we'll go into launch mode as well in the drag strip mode. We're gonna see if there's a launch mode in track mode. So we just hit 100%. And if you're wondering what 100%, well, there's one minute still. So it's probably gonna go up one mile, but it's 395 miles on the Plaid Model S with the 19 inch wheels. The 21s would drop it down quite a bit. And of course you're not gonna get that, especially the way we're gonna drive today. So. so to put it into drag strip mode, you just push drag strip mode. And now it says eight minutes remaining to be fully warmed up. Well, that's good because there's a spot that I like to go to that uh, is pretty flat. I've tested a lot of cars there and uh, it's probably eight minutes away. Do you think there's more power involved with this new track mode update? I'm not sure. We're at 382 miles. Drag strip mode is 100% peak performance. I've got the draggy device set up here 
in here. So we're in drag strip mode. I'm gonna pull out onto the street. This is, I'm gonna reset the draggy device. You're gonna see me, my reaction first. This is the first time I've launched it fully charged almost and 100% peak performance in drag strip mode. So, so it's gonna be pretty violent. There's not that many people on the street. It's pretty flat, so it's pretty safe. And it doesn't take long to get to 60 miles an hour. I'm going to hit the brake, reset the draggy, hold down, ready, floor it, it's preparing, and go. Jeez, that pulls hard. Let's pull over here and uh, look at the data. We're only gonna do one run. I want the neighbors to call the police. All right, so zero to 60, in 2.38 seconds this is on a non-prep surface regular road tires did slip a little bit zero to 60 with the one foot rollout 2.18 seconds uh, but this is uh, zero to 10 in 0.4 seconds zero to 20 in 0.8 seconds uh, that's without the one foot rollout awesome so let's put this in track mode and do it again. Let's do 60, 40 and see if there's a difference. So we're still in drag strip mode to get into, um, to get into track mode, you do have to put it in park. We're in park right now. We're gonna put it in track mode. And right up top here, right now you hear it cooling and we were in track mode. It says track mode air, peak performance ready. So we do have to warm it up ahead of time, but the, the battery, everything's green, which is good. It can show lap times and it shows you are in track mode enabled. So we're going to go and same spot. We're gonna hit reset. Now it doesn't go into a launch mode here. Go into a launch mode here, but it's still it still does the uh, drag strip it's still that's pretty cool that didn't feel as powerful as such a punch because you don't really need that in racing you need that at the drag strip not so much on the track so uh, i'm kind of curious so just so you're aware we're already down to 369 miles off of three runs the first run i didn't show you because something happened with the i had to move the draggy device it wasn't in the right area to get all the signals so three runs we're down to 368 miles which is 93 percent all right so we're gonna put this up, i'm gonna put this up here as well it's actually a little slower like i predicted a little bit more wheel spin but also not that punch really getting you going because again you don't need it then zero to 60 with a one foot rollout 2.33 seconds and then of course all the others are a little bit slower as well so track mode is really for the track like we all thought it would be but i just wanted to see if there was a little bit more power added to it um, but it makes more sense for track uh, for the drag strip to have all that power that instant power. I think it's still really cool uh, Let's do a little bit more testing, but not zero to 60 Well, let's see if the tires break loose But before we do that I just put it in track mode and put it into the preset for the track I didn't go what we set up 60 40 and I want to see if the handling is different I mean we're at low right now and see if the um, Oh wow You don't it is tight I don't know if you, I don't know if you can feel that, but man, it is, it does not roll at all. The body roll is like nothing. This would definitely be great on the track because it, there's no body roll whatsoever. Regenerative braking feels the same to me. Maybe a little, okay, a little harder at 30 miles an hour than the stock one or than the, the stock setup, but because um, and it is set to 100%. The back end seems to move a little bit probably because all the weight the, the car is super heavy and there's two motors in the back so it's going to be a little bit more biased towards the rear i believe i don't know the balance exactly i think drag times has done a balance test on this if not i know he's going to be doing a power reading on this i think he's got a device he can read the power uh, <clears throat> so if you're not subscribed to drag times i mean you probably are but uh you know he's going to have that soon but man it is it is a tight feeling it really is I did hear from somebody that it goes into creep mode. It doesn't really stop completely. So I'm let off completely. And 
It actually rolls backwards. I'm going. I'm on a hill. It'll roll backwards. So, which kind of makes sense because if you get in an accident, they want to pull you out. They don't want regenerative braking kicking back in uh, on the on the racetrack. So, so my next question is in in drift mode. If you're driving in drift mode and you launch the car, do the back wheels just light up since there's two motors back there? Is it just going to be crazy power and just spin the wheels? So I set it to drift mode, which puts it, you know, handling at 100% to the rear and stability to negative 10. We're in drift mode. I got to fasten my seatbelt. We're not fully warmed up, but we're going to see if I put it into drive here, what actually happens? I got a camera set up outside and we're just going to punch it. No, no wheel spin. Surprisingly, no wheel spin. I mean, this car is 5,000 pounds, but you would think that it would be able to spin the tires with that much power. How, how fast can you go in reverse? Track mode, yeah. You can still only do 15 miles an hour in track mode. And we're rolling backwards. There's just a little bit of slippage. It's nothing, you can't light up the tires unless you cut the wheel and do a donut, which we're not gonna do today. I'm gonna try to get someone to help me out with that. So the car will not break loose. Uh, you can't do don't, I mean, you could do donuts, but you can't break it loose and just spin the tires. I think there is still some con uh, traction control going on with that, which is really cool. That way you don't spin out completely or just light up the tires with, you know, well, really um, 800 horsepower to the rear end. So, cause it cuts off the front motor. I'm no good at donuts, but I'm gonna find somebody that is, stay tuned. So this is just set up for the track. It is not safe to be using on the street. You shouldn't be doing that as I did it today, but you shouldn't do this. I do this, I put my life at risk so you don't have to, but there's plenty of places you can get a track day and have some fun with your car. I had a blast today. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, hit the like button, share this video, and as always, subscribe to the channel. Stay awesome, stay positive, and I'll catch you on the next one.